we want to use the ratio test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. To apply the ratio test, if we have the summation of a sub n with the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals L, then if L is less than one, the infinite series converges. If L is greater than one, then the infinite series diverges. And if L equals one, the test fails, and we have to apply a different test. Often, the ratio test is helpful when the series involves exponentials or factorials. Notice here the series has an exponential part. Notice a sub n is equal to n to the second divided by 0 0.7 raised to the power of n, and a sub n plus one would be the quantity n plus one squared divided by 0 0.7 raised to the power of n plus one. So now we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. But actually, instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one, which is the quantity n plus one squared divided by 0 0.7 raised to the power of n plus one times, again, instead of dividing by a sub n plus one, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n, which would be 0 0.7 raised to the power of n divided by n squared. Notice here we have a common base. We have n factors of 0 0.7 here, and we have n plus one factors of 0 0.7 here. So we have one more factor of 0 0.7 in the denominator, and therefore this would simplify to one, and this would simplify to one factor of 0 0.7. So the simplified limit would be the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the quantity n plus one squared divided by 0 0.7 n squared. Now to determine the limit, notice how if we multiply the numerator out, it would be degree two. The denominator is also degree two, and therefore this limit as n approaches infinity is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by 0 0.7. But let's go ahead and show some more work to make it more clear. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the quantity n plus one squared would be n squared plus two n plus one, and our denominator is 0 0.7 n to the second. Again, the degrees are the same, and therefore the limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by 0 0.7, or one divided by seven tenths, which would be equivalent to one times the reciprocal of seven tenths, or 10 sevenths. So the limit is equal to 10 sevenths, which is greater than one. So when applying the ratio test, if the limit is greater than one, then the series diverges. So we'll say by the ratio test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals 10 sevenths, which is greater than one, the series diverges. I hope you found this helpful.